Hello, hello, my friends. We are back at Yankee Town Women's Club Thrift. Last video, we actually got there right before closing. This time, we are here 10 minutes before or right after they opened, not before. I was not that early. However, first, before we go find things, I've got a lot of Dalton's old clothes and toys that are in great shape, and we're going to donate them to the thrift store, and then we're going to go find some stuff. So let's go. All right, the trunk is empty. We're gonna go find some stuff now. I overfilled their donation box and it was empty. All right, so we are gonna go in the shed first. We have been here a few times on video and I know I have a certain pattern I go through when I go to different thrift stores. Do you guys have patterns like you always go to the same exact place in the store and kind of have a routine that you go through? I do at almost every store I go to. So here in the shed, they normally have a lot of breakables as well as collectibles. This set is really pretty here with the violets, but that is a very, very heavy set. So it would cost a lot to ship and I don't think it would be worth enough to make it worth the time to ship it. Let's see what else we can see in here. I didn't notice that. It looks like a Desert Rose California pottery plate that was there. I did not see that when I was there. And sometimes I'll look through silverware if I'm feeling froggy, but I was not that day. What is this? This is a vintage little Avon trinket dish with the ducks, which is kind of cute, but I don't think that will do very well. Some Avon stuff does well. Mostly it's jewelry, especially if it's associated with like a famous name. Look at this beautiful vintage. It might even be close to antique cross-stitch jewelry box. This is so cute with the little flowers and the cross-stitch. It is wood and it looks like it's only two dollars and I actually I think the letter J is on sale. What do we have here? A little gingerbread jar. This is so cute. It was three dollars made in China. Again, another heavy item that I don't think will sell for much. So I'm kind of changing up the way I buy things now. Thinking a little more about how much effort goes into packing things when I am buying them. So breakables, I'm being a little more picky. This is a cute little pumpkin, but with the brown tones, not really fun colors, I think that one we will leave. Now this thing they have at $25 it is some kind of drawing pad. I don't do a ton of electronics, but what I'm going to do, look, I was listening, I was listening to Steve Harvey. You can see there. Um, let, we're going to look this up and see if we can find it on eBay. I haven't been showing this in my videos. I always do look a lot of things up, but I, I normally edit it out, but I'm going to show you guys here. We're going to move Steve Harvey for a minute. So look, this tablet only sells for $11 on eBay and it is 25. So it is more than double the price. So that is definitely not something we want to pick up. Super cute little Sonoma purse picture frame. That one was too... Not sure how well that one would do. Oh, look at the little Africa. Super cute wood cutout. It says Nairobi, Kenya. It's a little magnet. $2. Super, super cute. I think we're going to get this. I like it. And then here are some coasters. These are actually Pimpernel, and I've done well. They do have them at a dollar a piece, and I think they're actually half off. So there were six of them, so they'll only be $3. I've done very well with some Pimpernel coasters as well as placemats, so keep an eye out for them. Look at this beautiful hand-turned 
candle holder. Five dollars. It's small. I think it would probably go for about 15 to 20 but I've got so much stuff. I'm trying to pick up stuff that's fun to me. Mine is clothes. I cannot, I cannot turn down dollar clothes. And we are going to go look at the clothes here in a minute and see what all they have inside. So let's go ahead, sit down the few things we got at the shed and see what is inside. Now here they do have some dollar clothes, but the clothing on the racks are priced as marked. So they're not all a dollar here like some of our stores. And they are so nice and wonderful here about letting us sit stuff down. They also sometimes will come empty my hands, which is really nice and make me a pile, which is what she is doing. So they are super super friendly here this again is yankee town women's club thrift and they are in yankee town florida so if you're close there goes a really cute puppy running by now here this is a 3x wetsuit but i think they had it at like 30 or 40 dollars which was a little more than i would want to pay some of those can go upwards of 100 to 200 dollars though so we're going to thumb through the shirts here and see what we can find. So most of their shirts here are typically like $2.99 to $4.99. There aren't very many that are priced higher than that. So we're going to see. And I normally can find a good handful of shirts here. And last time I was here, there were a few brands I wasn't familiar with that you guys were I'm going to see if I can find some of those. That was an L.L. Bean shirt. L.L. Bean is a great brand to pick up, whether it's clothing or their sporting goods. Everything that I've gotten from L.L. Bean has done very, very well. And in here, I typically will just look for brands that I'm familiar with. This one looks like it's a Tommy Bahama, but it was a pretty plain polo so that one I decided to leave behind. Tommy Bahama does well, but only kind of the flashier prints. This is a Dallas Cowboy shirt for three, but that one was a smaller size, so I decided to leave it. I'm trying to be pickier. It's hard. It's hard sometimes. I like shopping for resale. I'm horrible about shopping for myself. Now, that was a Fabletic shirt, the flag one, and I'm not sure how Fabletics does as far as resale value. If you have sold Fabletics, definitely let me know down in the comments. Look at this Sanibel Island shirt. This is Real Legends, which is a Florida brand. I absolutely love Sanibel Island and going shelling there. This one's four, but I think it'll go for about 15, so I'm... I'm going to go ahead and pick it up. I love picking up destination shirts. I do well with them. I know a lot of resellers don't like to pick them up, but I have found that they sell pretty decent for me around that $15 point. Some of them will actually go for a bit higher if it's a really, really popular destination or if it is a really, really cool graphic on the shirt. Now, that was a really cool Izod, but it was personalized. So let's see what's down here at the end. That's a Ben Hogan, but that's another one. It's personalized. So we're going to leave it. And here is a Guy Harvey shirt with the really cool sailfish. If you don't know, I love the ocean and I love fishing. So I do tend to pick up stuff like that. Now, last time I was here, a couple of you pointed out this brand. That was a Travis Matthews. I was not familiar with that brand, and it sells pretty well. And here is another Travis Matthews. Both of those were $4, and they were 3Xs. So those should do pretty well for me. So thank you to those of you who pointed that out. Look at this. Big Dog Baits. How cute is this? And it's a 4X really great graphics on it. I love this shirt. So we are definitely getting that one. Mainly the graphics are what drew me to that. 
Now here's an Izod Golf. That one is four. We're going to get that as well. I've done well with both men's and women's Izod Golf clothes. So definitely keep an eye out for those. And I always forget to look up at the shoes trying to see if there's anything up here. I'm not a big shoe seller because I don't like cleaning things. So I typically leave shoes behind. Now I'm looking here to see if I saw anything for Dalton because you know how kids grow. And so he grows out of his shoes all the time, but I didn't see any that were his size. Now we're looking at the linens here. Let's see what they've got. I absolutely love finding linens and I believe the linens are on sale today as well. So we'll see if there's anything hiding. I don't typically pick up window treatments such as curtains or balances unless they're really, really spectacular. I tend to go for sheets and pillowcases and things like that. Now this is a linden, really, really nice shower curtain. Absolutely beautiful. Shower curtains, I think get looked over a lot and some shower curtains can be really valuable. And here's a gorgeous dresser scarf. That one's only $2 with some amazing, amazing cross stitch. So we're gonna grab that as well. Now some towels, watch for towels. If they're vintage beach towels, even vintage kitchen towels with good prints will sell around $10 to $15. So if you can pick those up for a dollar, then definitely do. And that's just for one. So if you find a set, you can make a pretty good amount. Now here's some more cross stitch napkins. Four of them were six, but linens are on sale today. So we're definitely going to get them. And that rabbit placemat is like staring at us, but there's only one. Now, last time, I think this is a pot cover, that little chicken head. See the little chicken? Last time, a couple of you pointed that one out to me as well. And look at this. It's like a Southwest Christmas theme with cactus with Christmas lights. So we are getting that. And here's some more. The, those napkins had beautiful stitching on the edge, but there was nothing else. So... I, I try I try to show some self-restraint. I say that and then I pick up a ton of things. So, you know, it really, I guess, just depends on my mood. Now, here are some really nice Skecher flip-flops. I got those for my husband. And we're going to, we need to empty our arms. We have way too much. Way too much. So we're going to make a pile here. And... That way we can go get some more stuff. I really should bring my Ikea bags in here, but I get more than one Ikea bag most of the time when I come into the store. So maybe I could bring multiple Ikea bags. Now, lately I've started looking at their sporting section, which is what we're doing now because they've had some Nike, some Adidas, and they sell really, really fast for me. So you can see I'm looking at all the tags. I'm not super familiar with sports clothes, but I'm learning. Now, this is a Callaway golf polo women's. It was three. Again, the Callaway, the Izod, I have done very well with women's golf polos as well as men's. So I forget a lot of times to look, but I definitely recommend, especially if you're in a retirement community, that you look. And here's some Nike Dry Fit Extra Large for only three. So we're definitely picking those up. Those should go for like 15 to 20 bucks. So not too bad. And I am going to show you the whole haul at the end so you can see everything that I picked up. I think I caught most of it on camera, but we will do a little recap at the end and I'll show you it all kind of laid out. Sports bras are another. Sports bras can sell well. I'm not sure of brands. Again, I'm kind of learning and trying to know some good brands to pick up. Now these Columbia pants, those are pretty decent, but it is getting into spring and summer. So I'm not going to pick up a ton of colder climate clothes as of right now. To all of you that are still in the cold, then I'm sorry. Look, I clip one back. The other one comes unclipped. Let's try this again. 
Okay, stay pants. Okay, they stayed that time. We were having some issues there. And if, again, just like every time, if you see something I forget or should have got, please let me know. These are pink, Victoria's Secret, but they were pretty faded. So I did decide to leave those there. And then these are some padded Under Armour biking shorts, which some of those can be valuable too. These are three, but I don't know why I didn't get them. I, I don't know why I do what I do sometimes. Look at this, vintage Levi's, $8, Sherpa and Corduroy. This one is a really great find and I absolutely love this. A really, really cool piece. Probably bring 30 to 40, but just really, really cool to find that vintage Levi's piece. So let's go back and see what else we can find. So I went back over here to the linens and look at these amazing pieces of fabric absolutely gorgeous with the clocks and there are several pieces that are over a yard three of them this nice man was picking up stuff for me the clip came off of the hanger and he put it back on for me so we're gonna bring these up to the front these are so so cute i have done well with fabric and all of these pieces are over a yard, which is nice. And they're all clocks. So I don't think I'll list them together. I'll probably list them individually. And when I was putting my stuff up, she said they had some Life is Good and Simply Southern shirts. These ladies do know I resell. They know I always buy a lot when I come. So they actually show me stuff. So she's trying to look through and see. So I told her, pull them out for me. And as long as they were in good shape, then I would get them from her. And they are going through the stuff just donated. So she found one here. And if you have not tried Life is Good, it is one of my favorite brands to wear. I'm actually wearing a Life is Good shirt right now. Now this one had a little stain, but I think some of these will still sell. So I'm going to have them pull them and then we'll check them before we go and see about getting them. And let's go ahead and look and see what else we can find. This is a fedora and it is HH. It's a Henschel and I've just recently sold a Henschel hat. So we're going to get that pinstripe fedora because I think it will do well. And here is another hat. This one is a vintage Panama Jack ladies sun hat. Really pretty kind of peach color so we're going to get that one as well i like selling hats whether it's your regular hats or if it's stuff like that like the fedoras and the beach hats again i'm trying to look at the shoes because i always forget to look at the shoes and a lot of people sell only shoes i just it if you're not in the habit of looking for stuff you probably are looking right past tons and tons of profit here is a jansen bathing suit which is a good brand and look at the beautiful print on this one that one was five so i did decide to leave it because i think it's probably about a 12 to 15 dollar swimsuit so if it were three i probably would have gotten it and you see me walking right past the lady stuff not overly knowledgeable i am learning a little bit more and i appreciate you guys telling me in the comments brands to look out for look at this scarf this is like a giant scarf this one is an asadi and it's five dollars really really big very very pretty I'm trying to decide if i should get it or not and on the fence I think I think we'll take it look at the beautiful bird of paradise now let's see if we see any other scarves don't see any more we're gonna go look at these scrubs and I did get a ton of scrubs last time we were here and a lot of them have sold already I do very very well with scrub tops as long as you can get them for about three dollars or less they sell for 12 to 15 dollars typically 
So Grey's Anatomy, this one is active. It is by Barcode. That one is a good one to pick up. Another is Koi. Specifically, the Kathy Peterson line seems to do very, very well for me also. Now, here are the vintage... Well, they're not all vintage, but I am looking for vintage nightgowns. So let's see if we see anything in here. And this one looks like an older piece here, this light blue. And it's $2. So I'm trying to see if I can find a tag on it. We're going to take it out. Really, really kind of simple classic gown with tie back. And a lot of times the tags are on the side, but I did not see one. So it's hard without a brand or a size. I will pick them up if they are really impressive, but that one was just a little too plain. Let's see if there is anything else. This one is super, super colorful. Looks like this one is a scrub top that was stuck in with the nightgowns. It is a butter soft size 2X and we're going to get that. Those colorful ones definitely sell. All right, now we're going to go down here. I saw there were a lot of hats hanging up there. We're going to look up and see what hats we can find if we can reach them. I think we can. Let's see. Let's see what's up there. purse I think this is an eel skin purse and it's really nice I actually picked up an eel skin at a yard sale but I think those tags will rip the eel skin I unfortunately learned that the hard way so I did leave that one there eel skin is very very fragile now here's a Range Rover land land lover hat is that what it said I totally forgot what it said already um Range Rover hat we're gonna grab that and then look at the graphics on this Dallas Cowboys hat football season is coming watch for football apparel I am definitely going to get this Cowboys hat I haven't looked it up hopefully it'll be a really good one we will see at the end of the video what that hat should be worth now, if you see any hats that I missed, let me know. And we, of course, are checking the purses. Look at this little kitten tapestry purse for $2. Why did I not get that? It's so funny when you record videos and you go back and look, you question your own decisions. If you're a content creator, I'm sure you totally understand that. All right. Look, speaking of football. Florida Gators in conjunction with the Tasmanian Devil. How cute is this one? Two bucks. We will definitely get it. Here where I am, we are in the land of the Gators. But I think that will do good online. And look at look at these. They have a little fox and a little owl. Little fuzzy socks. I like I like socks. For, for the winter so we're gonna get those as well we're gonna drop this stuff off and then we're gonna go into the back where all of the dollar clothing racks are so we'll unload the ladies are still looking through the new clothes and let's go ahead and head to the back where the dollar racks are but first on the way to the dollar racks I figured I'd thumb through the women's jackets and what is this this looks like a vintage Nike. It's $6. And look, it still has the tags. How amazing is that? So, we are definitely going to pick this one up. That was a good find. Glad that I saw it. That's not a section that I normally check. But we found it. And now we are going to try again to go back to the dollar rack. Let's see if we can make it. Oh, I didn't even notice that printer. It was like right there in front of me. Some printers can sell for good money. Just a little tip. And that's why it's always really good to look around twice if you have the time. All right. Now we're going to go back to the dollar racks. Let's see what's back there. So they also told me all of this Christmas stuff on the table is also 50% off. Look at this cute little velvet hound dog. So he's marked a dollar. He's only 50 cent. He's super cute. We're going to get him 
and this cute handmade patchwork pillow. This one's only 50 cents with the discount. We have to get that. Now look at the Santa Claus pillows. I hope, I hope I got those. Look, she brought me a Life is Good shirt. I love these ladies. They are so wonderful to me. I told her I would get it. Look at the Santa Clauses. Had a little stain. Did I? Oh, I left them. How did I leave them there? Oh, no. Man, I doubt they'll still be there when I get back. Let's look through these racks and see if we can find anything. All of these racks here in the back are only a dollar. So we're going to thumb through and see what we can find. I'm talking to her about all the Life is Good shirts. All right, I fast forwarded through the first few racks because I didn't find anything. But look at this women's Izod golf shirt on the dollar rack. Definitely a good find. And let's see if we can find anything else in here. I thought this was a Life is Good shirt, but it was not. That looks very, very similar to the graphics on the Life is Good shirts, though. And I'm not sure what this kitty cat is. I don't know what he is. So we're going to put him back. Let's see if there's anything else here at the end of the rack. And I just quickly thumb through these because for a dollar, you know, you sell it for 10, it's 10 times your money. This is a really nice Columbia um, PFG shirt, women's size medium, really pretty. So we're going to grab that as well. So it looks like the end racks are where it's at today. I didn't find anything on those first few racks. So we're going to see if we can see anything else here. And again, don't forget, I'm going to show you at the end of this a complete haul again of what I picked up. We will summarize. I've missed you guys. I have not had a video out in about a month, so I'm happy to be back with you. Hopefully there will be some regular videos for you. Here's a bathing suit. I wasn't sure of the brand though, so I did put that back. And then let's see. What is this? Another Sanibel shirt. We found two of them. Somebody was matchy matchy with Sanibel shirts. And this one's on the dollar rack, so definitely getting that one. And let's see if there's any. We're almost at the end of the rack. What else is hiding in here? What is this? Island Republic. That's a silk shirt. Look at the print on that. Yes, we are definitely getting that. And now we are at the end of the rack, my friends. So I'm going to turn this camera around, let you see me, and then we'll do a haul. All right, my friends, so I got a ton of stuff. The GoPro died, the GoPro died, but I am going to go ahead and show you everything again now. I told myself I was gonna behave and I didn't really behave. I have two trash bags full of stuff. So let's go ahead and take a look at it now. All right, I got way more than I thought. You were getting ready to see. I got this Guy Harvey shirt for $3.99. That one should go for 12 to 15. I got this Travis Matthews. Here is that sign. This is the one I did not know. I paid for, hopefully I can get about 20. I got this awesome LL Bean Raglan shirt for three. That should go for about 20. The vintage Levi's jacket, I did pay up. I paid eight, or sorry, a vest. And that one should go for about 30 to 40. We got this women's Izod golf shirt for only a dollar. It should go for 12 to 15. Island Republic silk shirt. This one was a dollar. It should go for about 15. And if you see any of this you want, please email me the nurse flipper at yahoo.com with your offer and your PayPal email and mailing address. I got two of these Sanibel Island. So this one was on the dollar rack and this one here actually was $4. Dalton is saying hello. We got these really cool Tommy Hilfiger XL sleepy pants, uh, Panama Jack sun hat, also the Hinchel pinstripe fedora. This Adidas shirt actually was on the dollar rack, and that one should go for about 20. Columbia shirt was also on the dollar rack. That one should go for about 12 to 15. Another Travis Matthews 2X, hopefully we'll get at least 20. 
this gorgeous cross stitch dresser scarf this one was only it was two dollars but linens were half off so it was only a dollar that one should go for about 15. this is a beautiful ann taylor loft skirt size two that one should go for 15 to 20. the gray's anatomy active by barco i paid three this one we should get about 15. set of four beautiful yellow rose cross stitch napkins these were marked six so i paid three these should go for about 20. and then i got three pieces of this fabric so this fabric is tidings of great joy with the art of jay wecker and this one's actually over three yards this one is two and this one is one they look like they sell for about ten dollars a yard i paid five four and three so this one should be 30 20 and about 10. so not too bad on those i actually have this same shirt this one is a size large it says simple is better simply southern collection this one is not my size or i would keep it i wear it that often and then I got this Life is Good. This one does have some bleach spots, but I only paid a dollar. Should be able to still get 10 to 12 for that one. This one says, Sit Me Baby One More Time with a cup of coffee. Really, really pretty teal color. I got this cute patchwork vintage Christmas pillow for only 50 cent. That one should go, I'll probably price it about 20 to 25. The vintage cross stitch wooden jewelry box. The socks for me with owls and foxes. We got this Range Rover Land Rover hat. That should go for 15 to 20. I still haven't found this Cowboys hat. Hopefully that'll be about 20 to 25. Those were a dollar each as well as the Gators and Taz. That one should be about 20. Two of the Christmas Cactus super cute towels. Those should be about 15. I know you guys told me before, but what the heck is this a cover for? This cute little chicken. I don't a toaster I don't know what she covers tell me what she covers I got her for two but I think she was linen so she was only one this cute basset hound vintage stocking was only 50 cents that one should go for 15 to 20 and then we got this Barco butter soft 2x shirt for three super soft scrub top this one should go for about 15 Izod golf size 2xl that one should go for about 20 and then there's still more i got i didn't realize i got so much callaway xl i paid three that one should go for about 15. this nike jacket i paid six but it is still new with the tags hopefully this one will be at least 30 to 40. and then there's this asadi this is a beautiful scarf with the bird of paradise this one i paid five it should sell for about 25. and then this big dog bait this is a 4x and I think I should be able to get about 50 for this one. And I only paid six. So I think that's going to be one of the better finds. I'm going to show you guys this because it's sitting right here. Look at this beautiful vintage Hobay bracelet. So the only other one like this listed right now. I did not get this at the thrift store. Um, the only one listed like this is listed at $2,600. I think I'm going to run this on auction. So I paid close to 500 for it. I'm going to start it on auction at 1000 but isn't this a beautiful, beautiful bracelet? I thought I would share it with you since it was sitting here. Then I got these Nike workout pants. These I paid three. They should go for 15 to 20 This shower curtain was only $1.50. This is a Linden. I think this one will go for about 20 to 25 so that is actually everything, as if it was not enough. A ton of stuff. If you're interested, again, email me the nurse flipper at yahoo.com. I am happy to be back with you guys. Hopefully, I can maintain one to two videos a week. I appreciate you watching, and we will see you on the next one. Bye for now, guys.